was in my, like my whole life. Uh, Cause I love playing with them, making like medieval battle scenes. Oh, well, since birth. I'm the youngest of five kids. My son has my brother's old red Lego carrying case from when he was eight. We're a Lego family. Yeah. Lego lovers know puzzling with the pieces starts young. And criminals in the area are taking advantage. On July 3rd, Springfield Police Department's newly created crime reduction unit busted Eugene business brick builders for cashing in on Lego's dedicated fan base by accepting sets stolen from retail chains in Springfield. Thousands of sets. We recently did a mission at the Target, among other gateway stores, and uh, we were finding that a bunch of people were stealing Lego sets, some very high-end expensive Lego sets. During our three-month investigation, we were watching people steal and go straight to brick builders with these stolen Legos, and we'd watch people go into the stores with the Legos and come out with cash in hand. Police say those suspects told them Brick Builders owner Eamon Henriksen, along with an accomplice and store employee Albert Nash, knew the Lego sets were stolen. Officers served the business with a search warrant and recovered over 4,000 Lego sets worth more than $200,000. Brian Algin, the owner of another Lego store in Eugene, Bricks and Minifigs, tells us the toy is loved by people of all ages, making them an unfortunate target. I'm not surprised that they're stolen. I am surprised at the large amount that they recovered. The Lego sets do go up in time in value over time if you hold on to them. Uh, the most expensive, I think, in production set we've had is around $800. Sergeant Potter says some of the thieves went straight from the sale to buy fentanyl, and most were willing to work with police after being disgruntled over getting a fraction of the set's actual value from brick builders. Meanwhile, SPD's mission to stop organized retail theft will continue. We're committed. Springfield Police Department is not going to stop, and we're going to continue uh, to fight this fight, and with uh, partnerships in the retail community that's willing to help us. Potter says most of the thieves will only be charged for the initial thefts from the retailers. In Springfield, I'm Gold Meadows. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.